hi. <laughs> I like that, you can't even say hi. Okay, here it is, the long-awaited update. It has been really, really long, and I really do apologise to everyone. And there's been a good reason for it. I decided to go skiing back in January, and unfortunately broke my leg. The last few months have been, yeah, interesting to say the least. And I have this lovely little scar there to show everyone for it. Only literally this week have I been able to walk without crutches for the first time, which is amazing. But anyway, the car. Let's talk about, straight out, the kit. HGK Eurofighter kit, everyone knows we're going that way. Well, here it is. It is on the car and it is looking absolutely savage. We haven't got it all on yet because we're just finalizing some bits and pieces and fitment, but it's nearly, nearly there and it just looks absolutely awesome. Um, as you come around, wheels, Rotoform hooks us up with these just to get the car rolling for now. And while they make our actual wheels for the car, which I won't tell everyone yet, but they'll be here pretty soon and they're gonna look wicked. Calm fiber door mirrors are on. The windows are in. That's what we've been doing the last couple uh, couple nights in the workshop, getting these window frames mounted. They've got quick release fittings here just on these thumb screws, which you just undo them and the whole frame comes out, which is absolutely wicked. So round the back, the lights are now in. Mounted all really nice and easily. The boot lid is on, which weighs absolutely nothing, and you can pick it up with your pinky. Our rear radiator is in. Fan shroud, fans, huge, huge fans. They're awesome. And Andy Frost has done some fab work on the radiator to make it work you know, perfectly for us. And we've got our Craig David pump down there. He's also mounted the radium header tank up here which is really, really cool. And then we've got our radium quick dump fuel filler on the side here. This plate again, made by Andy Frost at IceFab. Awesome, awesome work. Inside the car, we've got the radium fuel cell. It's really sad to have to cover this up because it's such a nice bit of kit. It's so, so nice. Um, it's a 10 gallon fuel cell. We've got four AEM 1200 pumps in there. Um, one to feed the swell, two to feed the fuel rail and then one as a backup that will come on if it detects any, dropped in, uh, any drop in fuel pressure. Our NOS bottle back there, all mounted nicely by Andy again at our ice fab to help feed our engine, just a little bit more a poke. And then the rear firewall there that Andy's custom made again with our WF22 logo into it, which is, again, another savage bit of work. Although we've taken a lot of time with things, it's been really crucial that we do it as good as we can be and make sure that every part of the project we're proud of, which, yeah, we are. The door bars are being, being put in, in the last couple of weeks by SB Motorsport. The guys down there doing an absolutely awesome job. Uh, the door bars, I've got a thing about door bars. I want them to look cool as anything and I wanted the NASCAR cool looking door bars, the coolest looking door bars we could have. And they're here. They just need to be finished welding up and then happy days. Um, the seat mount down here looks a little bit funky, different from what you've ever seen, probably in a drift car for sure, um, but maybe not in like a touring car or something like that. Our Corbo seat is individually mounted on the bottom, so it has four individual feet that mount to the seat. Um, so it's not like a standard side mounted seat, it's extra safe, extra everything. Um, and then at the back here, we have these mounts that mount onto the back of the seat as well. So it's actually a six point mounting seat. Um, when you're inside that, when the seat's bolted in, it is absolutely solid. Then as we go around to the front, we've got sitting over here in the corner of the workshop. This is our LSX B15. Um, 
It's a crate engine that we got from Billy Speed Shop and it's an awesome, awesome bit of kit. We've got this performance design carbon intake and again, another lovely bit of kit. Um, and then we've got a G42 1200 turbo to go with this, which is just gonna make it an absolute monster. However, last year we had a little bit of a change of plan and decided that we're not gonna use the LSX in this car. We're gonna use it in something else, but you'll find out about that again sometime soon. Um, instead, it popped the hood. Two JZ engine, no shit. DY engines, Dave Yandel, the guy when it comes to two Js, built this absolute monster of an engine. This thing is gonna do over a thousand horsepower. It has got every single awesome bit of kit and trick bit that you could ever imagine. Uh, we bought a brand new block, well, Dave bought a brand new block, machined it and done everything all himself in house um, and built the whole engine. Literally, as it sits here is how it turned up here at our workshop at Christmas. And it's unreal. We got G35 1050 turbo, Walton Motorsport manifold. Everyone knows Mike Walton and his manifolds and how good they are. These things are brilliant. The machine, the, uh, the welding and everything that goes into them is always absolutely perfect and they're just savage bits of kit. I don't think you could you know, build a car like this and not have a water manifold on it. Um, we've got a Hypertune billet inlet and Hypertune billet valve covers, which if I was gonna build a 2J, this is my shopping list of parts. It is everything that I wanted and more. Um, some Rad Industries nice brackets down the bottom there for the water, alternator and the power steering pump. Uh, Rad Dan, Rad Industries was really, really helpful when talking to him about 2Js. Um, and yeah, there's you know no better parts out there for this car than that. Uh, we've got PSC um, power steering reservoir with a built-in filter. And then our radium catch can sitting up there nicely on the bulkhead to finish it off. At the front, we've got these twin stacked oil coolers from uh, IceFab again. Um, one's gonna be power steering, one for the oil for the car. And then the gigantic IceFab intercooler, which if I take this bumper off, I'll be able to show you. You might have to pause this bit as I take this off. Right. So, as you can see, five inch core, huge thing, and he's made these uh, end tanks to match both sides absolutely perfect. They're literally mirror image of each other. The nice WF22 logo in there again from Andy, looking sleek. The brackets underneath are quick release, two little R clips, pull them out. Um, literally undo these bolts on the top two here, they swivel out the way and that comes off in a matter of like a minute or so. It's really good should we need to work on it really quickly and get things done quick. So other work that Andy's also done are these boost pipes and fitting the vibrant clamps for us along with our NOS injector, um, nozzle, whatever you want to call that. Um, he's also welded in our tubs and all of these plates on the bulkhead there. Done a really, really nice job of things. Really just finishes off the bay really tidy and you know, it's everything with this car that we're doing has to take time because it has to be done properly. Um, although we wanted to be done for June, we was hoping to debut the car at Goodwood Festival of Speed, but with things being how they've been recently, um, it just wasn't possible. So rather than put stress and strain on everyone involved to get it done, we've said, you know, don't worry, let's take a few more weeks and let's get it done to get it done right. So that is it for the update on the car. There is so much more going on. The workshop is in absolute state. Try not to look around too much because it is horrendous, but it's, uh, it's all coming together. Now, I've, this literally this week, I've been able to walk without crutches. Um, that makes a massive, massive difference for us. And we can just cr crack on with getting the car done and pushing it on forward to, to get out there as quick as possible and have some fun. I'm gonna make a toast cause we still alive No big Flat pot Shoot the shot Coming in I don't do the most but I do a lot I'm gonna make a toast cause we still alive No big Flat pot Shoot the shot 
coming in. 